Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about using tables in PySimple GUI applications. Um, by tables, let me give you a little demonstration. So this is a table right here. So we've got some fields, uh, we've got some fields, and then we have different sets of data, so different records within our table. Um, this is a really useful way to um, display large amounts of information particularly if you're doing anything scientific or mathematical. And strangely, it's not really that well covered online. So that's kind of why I wanted to make a tutorial, uh, just, so, just so everyone has a reference for how to use tables. Um, so we're gonna look at a couple of examples today. And we're going to first look at a, quite a simple example, which where data is already included. The data that we put in the table is already included. And then we're gonna look at two more complex examples where we're getting some data through a user interface, and then we're storing an array, and whatever data is in that array is going to be displayed in a table. So let's get started here. Um, if, if you haven't worked with PySimple GUI before, you should go look at some of the previous tutorials. Um, we're gonna assume here that you know how a basic PySimple GUI application works. So we've got our layout, we've got a window, and we've got our event loop, okay? Um, What's going to be different here from the usual application is we're going to use sg.table. So that's going to be the element that we're putting in our window and the only element. There's not even any buttons. So we're going to mainly focus on how we can use sg.table. Okay. So again, we've got a 2D array for layout, and then this is just in one array right here. So the first thing we're gonna put in is the values that'll be in this table right here. And those values are gonna take the form of an array, which we specified right up here. And that's gonna be a 2D array, okay? So we have a two-dimensional array and each array inside represents one row in the table. Then we're gonna take in a value called headings. And those headings are gonna be what's up here, full name, address, and phone number. And that's gonna be an array, which we specified up here. We have max column width, which is the maximum width of each of these columns. We have auto size columns true, which means that it'll increase the width of these columns um, until it gets to 35. Display row numbers, that's this part right here. We could get rid of this if you want to, but this just shows the row number for each row. Justification right, not really important in this case. Um, just because we don't really have any other elements in this window. Um, number of rows equals 10. So right now we're showing a, ma we're showing a maximum of 10 rows. Um, if we had 20 rows, for example, then we'd have a little uh, pill right here, which we can use to scroll down. Um, key and then row height equals 35. So that's just how high each one of these rows is their height. So this is the only really main, this is the only real main difference. And you can use this in conjunction with a headings array and a 2D information array in order to create a table. So now that we've done that, let's talk about an application that's maybe a little bit more realistic and where um, we can get some user input. So we're just gonna close this right here. Mm, save that. And then let's look at, a, at this information, at this app, this application where we're going to get some contact information. Hopefully there's no errors. If not, you'll get to watch me fix them. Uh, let's go ahead and run this. And cool, okay, right here, we've got, a, um, we've got a little window right here where we can enter a full name, enter an address, and enter a phone number, submit it, and then see that in a table. So let's enter a full name, John Smith, address 12 Mayberry Street, Mayberry Street, and a phone number 371-312-333-2345, okay? So we're gonna submit that information, we get a pop-up right here, and then we're gonna show the table, and we can see that right here, okay? So let's stick this off on the side right here, um, and take a look at the code. So basically right here, we actually have um, two files. We have one for the main window, so this is the main window right here, um, where we're just getting the full name, address, and phone number. And then we also have one file right here 
for the table. And that's going to be contact information table window. Just a long name just to specify exactly what it is. Um, so we're importing that. We're importing a function from that file. And then we're calling that function here, the function create, to show our window with the 2D array, contact information array, and headings. So actually right here, if you look at the code, when we click submit contact information, so we have this button and then we have the event right here, we are creating an array with a name, address, and phone number. And then we're storing that in contact information array right up here, okay? We've already creating our, created our headings array right here. So when we submit, we're not only showing a pop-up, but we're also adding to this contact information array. And this array goes into create, the function create, in, the fi in this file, contact information table window. Um, that and the headings. And this file basically creates basically consists of this window right here. So let's take a look at this file. We'll keep this open as well. Okay, we've got both of those open, cool. Okay, let's close this real quick and let me just keep this open so you can kind of see what's going on here. So um, right here, the function create, um, this, is our, this is our function to create a new window. If you don't understand how that, how that works, I've got about two tutorials on this channel that involve uh, creating second windows like this. And here, we pretty much had what we had, what we had before um, in our simple example. So we're getting some input of contact information array, which is a 2D array and headings. And right here, we're sticking that in for values and we're sticking this headings array in for headings right here. Everything else is pretty much the same as it was in the past example. Um, so this is just an example of how we can use tables in a practical application. We have function create in the separate file right here. The function takes in the 2D array and headings. And it puts them into the SG table um, object and does everything we'd expect, right? We have, we're creating a layout like that. We've got um, a window and then we've got another event loop. And that's called from right here. So when we click show table, um, we click show table, we're opening up that function using the contact information array and headings array, which are edited and created inside our, inside our main contact window file. All right. And now let's look at a slightly more complicated example, which works the exact same way. It's just another way to see how this will work in a large scale application. Again, here we have main window and we have reservation, we have reservations window. Um, Go ahead and run this. So the, the idea is we've got a full name right here. So let's say John Smith. So this is actually a flight reservation app or a simulation of one. So we're entering a passport number, gender, calendar, um, date of arrival, and then a destination. And we're gonna reserve our ticket. And notice right here, similar to the last example, we have an array where we're gonna store this, okay? We have, yeah, so we've got an array where we're gonna, where we're gonna store this. Um, the difference is we're not really appending here as we did before. Um, instead, we have a submit function in our second file, which is reservations window. Um, and in that one, we're sticking in just the reservations array. So we reserve ticket, we do that, it's reservation submitted, and this is the 2D array that will be sent to our function right here, all right? Um, and let's go ahead and see our window. So right here, we've got a window with all of that information. So again, most of what's happening is happening in the reservations window module or file. We're calling a function called submit that gets a reservations array. Um, and then we're calling a function called create, which also gets a reservations array. Um, so basically what's happening right here in submit is we're getting all the values so we're getting all the values from this input right here through the variable values, okay? The main event loop. Um, and then we're taking each of those values, each of those, each of those input values, and putting them into, the, into a form of an array, and then submitting it into our, or appending it, or adding it to our 2D array. So in that way, we are taking our values from uh, here, 
and we are basically formatting them in a way that we can put stick into a table. All right. So right here for submit, um, we're adding to this reservations array um, and and then we have our function create. Um, and with create, we are basically taking the reservations array where we just put data in and we're storing it in values. We have our headings array right here and we're storing in headings. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, All right, so those are three examples of how we can use um, how we can use tables. A simple example probably being the most straightforward and contact information app probably being the most simple GUI based application. Uh, I hope that was useful for you. This code will also be up on GitHub and I'll include a link in the caption. Um, have a nice day.